Hi guys, it's me and MK Leo. We're gonna be talking about Wolf. I don't know the game of Wolf. I think it's something like Star Wolf's Echo Wolf, something like that. It comes from Star Wolf. Okay, it comes from Star Wolf. We're gonna be explaining everything about Wolf, combo game, edge card game, everything about Wolf. So if you main Wolf and you were hoping to see Wolf in this game, since he wasn't in Smash 4, just make sure you keep watching this. So, uh, MK Leo, you have something to say? Yeah, I, ag I agree with Leo. He agrees with Leo, good. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Whoa. We all know that everyone that plays Wolf can just do like fair into Nair, fair into Backer or something. But like there are some better combos that you can get. Like even if you don't, if you don't know how to do it, I'm gonna we're gonna teach you how to do it actually. So you. So Jason, do the, the best combo you have. Uh, a good combo at zero. At zero. Uh, basic, you f do this, and then from there, you just uh, you fair, grab, down throw, dash attack. You, yeah, that's you, like you, the best combo. And then from the dash attack, that's where you pretty much start your bread and butter. If you get a grab at zero, you can still down throw dash attack, but it has to be frame perfect. Now if you get a grab at low percent, but say above zero, which usually means like you hit him once above zero, whether it's a fair grab or a laser, and then you get a grab, if it's above zero, the down throw dash attack is much, much easier to connect. It, it's, not, it's no longer frame perfect. And then you can get an easy, fair grab, down throw dash attack, and then from the dash attack, you can just, just you see how they up. DI. You could either do up tilt, F tilt, or like you, you could do tech man. chases. For example, forward air, uh, if they think they're tech in place, you do fair to spike. If you think they're tech roll in, you could do this. Like stuff like that. I mean, that. that's too risky. It's a stock trade. Just don't forget that you need to do dash attack with the C stick. If yeah. you don't do it with the C stick, you're not gonna get the combo. So you literally just need to to do it with the C stick. That's, press, the, that's the only way it's gonna. You work. press forward, and then the next frame you press the C stick forward, and that way you yep. can dash attack one frame after dashing. You but, can literally do that combo with anything. If you laser once, it does ten percent, so it's a perfect percent for the combo. If you fair, it's a perfect percent for the combo. If you nair, you can do it. If you like falling nair. Like, that combo is, li is literally going to connect with everything. Yeah, That's like the most them, basic combo. You want to hit them once above zero and then down through dash attack. That's the consistent easy combo. Yeah. Now, if there's platforms, you can do like up up throw and then you do an aerial. But then you land on the platform and then you can get like an up tilt from the platform. And then you can get like a two-way combo. That's some other standard stuff you can start with. It's not the same as Peach, like the first episode. Peach is like way harder than Wolf. Wolf has like some basic combos, super basic combos actually that everyone can just do. But like, it gets to the part that if you're playing with a super good player, you're not gonna be able to get those combos. So you need to start mixing up everything. Cause like, even if you do like the basic combo, that it's always gonna work, it works on anything, on everyone. So uh, you still need to, to make a mix up, you know? Cause like, there are some players that won't fall for that combo that easily. But like, that's the, that's the thing I was talking about. Wolf is one of those easy characters that can be really good. I'm not saying that he's, like the best character in the game, but like he's really easy and good. So it's really, it's a really good character for, for, for like new players, beginner players. So Wolf has a really good neutral game. One of the best neutrals in, in of all the characters. That's probably one of his biggest strengths. So I'll first say this, Blaster is one of his main moves. This move can do 7.5, 8.8 or 10, depending on the distance. It's kind of weird. Um, but this is one of his better moves. But something to note is that when you fight Top level players offline in tournaments, they know how to deal with this move. They they can often just read the move. Let's say they're predicting you doing this, for example. Um, they might jump at you with an aerial, or they might run and block it or power shield, and now you sacrifice all that stage control just to get a laser. Um, so it, sometimes it's not good for that, but it's good for out camping someone. Like let's say you know they're pulling a projectile, and you read, oh, Peach is going to pull the turret right now, and you, you can get some damage at the same time as you think they're camping. So it's good, it's good because that means they can't always camp you. They have to mix up camping and approaching. Another thing is that laser is a move that's really, really good online because you can't react to it. So basically online is like his best move by far. But if you're playing offline, it's like it gets a lot worse. It's not a bad move, but it's substantially worse than it is online. At yep. very low level, it's spammable. At online, Wi-Fi, it's extremely spammable. But at top level, I think you should use it sparingly as a mix-up. Yep. Because otherwise you get punished hard level and lose stage. Are like aren't lasering a lot. I mean, I personally laser a lot, like I want people to be forced to jump now that I have like, a lot of people say that I have the best spacing in the game. 
I might agree with that. I don't know. I, I don't want to be. I don't like. Yeah, I don't want to be saying I have the best uh, neutral game. Are you sure about that? <laughs> But yeah, it's one of the very things about Wolf. Cause like, even if you, even if you know you're gonna get punished by doing the wrong option, you can still like go to the future and predict what your opponent's gonna do. Yeah. So basically, if you shoot laser th like three times in a certain situation, they're gonna be like, oh, he always does this in a situation. You kind so of subconsciously know. So, so in the future, you just do this or this or something like that. His neutral is basically like Sheik. You're rhyming from off Sheik from Smash Force. So you basically just need to be jumping front, back. And you just start like fairing, spacing the move well. Like if you were playing a Stormman character, it's like the space Stormman character. And like Nair is really good. Falling over is really good. Just people don't use it that much, I think. And like back air is still really strong. And awesome. it's like pro probably one of the strongest wolf moves. Like it can kill you at like 80. It's super hard, super hard to get like the sweet spot. But it's like worth it if you try. So it's basically just like be spacing, just be patient, start like running away, just laser. If they try to jump, just react to it, start punishing, start the combos. And like, even if you don't feel safe throwing the laser, you can just be jumping and like react to everything they do. Also, Nair is a pretty safe move, but it has a weakness. It loses really hard to power shield, so you can either time those shield release or spam this. Uh, it's, you, you parry it, you're better at it. See, and then I get punished for free. Uh, another thing, way Nair is good, um, I can do like delayed aerial or, and or land behind people and that's safe. Characters like Mario can just up here to shield, but most characters can't do anything about like if you do this, it's a, mix, it's a true mix up tree. Yeah. And then you can try to like, oh I did that, he might roll in, like you just try to predict what they're thinking, yeah. that you, their ne one of the good, next move's gonna but be. One of the good things about Wolf is that even if you miss something, you can just react to it. Cause, like, the character actually covers everything to do. Like, no hard like any other character, like Peach or like, I don't know, Lucina, like, but like, he can actually cover everything you do. Like, if, imagine if they jump over you, so you open, but like, they air dodge, you can insta grab, like, right after. So it's not a big deal. Wolf's like a super easy character. If, obviously, if you want to start winning tournaments, it's gonna be hard like any other character. But like, it's super easy to play, actually. So one of Wolf's primary weaknesses is that uh, compared to most characters, especially at top level, he has one of the lesser good out of shields. So when you hit his shield, that means some characters, for example, Marvel, Mario has like a frame three up here to shield. We've seen as like the frame five up here to shield. Wolf's fastest out of shield is tied for shield grab at frame 10. Or and up, a or nar narrow area out of shield, which is frame 10. Or up smash. No, like up smash is like 12, no, it's 12, really it's 12 or 13. It's much slower. I mean, yeah, but like, it's still really good. Like, if you open, no, 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 no. I'm talking about after I hit your shield. That's a read. But no, yeah, it's not a read. You're... No, I mean, after I hit your shield. Look, see, that's what I, that's yeah, what I was talking right. about. I was talking about like after I hit a shield, like the the advan the shield advantage. So he yes. doesn't have a fast move. Um, the other weakness Wolf has is uh, recovery. So depending on the matchup, some characters can edge guard him really well, and some characters can't. Um, I'm sure Leo can go in more detail on that, but, yeah. a, but a basic idea is uh, you can, depending on if you're predicting air dodge or sad B or up B in the exact position, you could counter it. Counters are really good, but not every character has a counter, of course. Uh, you can throw turnips. Uh, Peach Esgar is well pretty good using the turnips. The stage matters too because Wolf wants to do uh, like side Bs to platforms. Even if you know you're going get, to get hit after, you have a bigger mix-up treat afterwards. So you can get to the ledge. Like you can go high, go on a platform, even though you might know you get get hit. I don't usually do that, but it, it's not necessarily bad depending on the stage you're playing on. Because some yep. stages like Kalos, they have the platform over there, and you might want to mix it up. But on a stage like FD, and you don't really you have can, a mix up. You can wall jump in the platform, so uh, you get a better recovery. Obviously, like Jason was saying, his recovery is one of the worst thing from Wolf. Probably like yeah, actually the worst thing. Some characters have a counter in the fireman character, like Ninja, Lucario, even uh, Peach. Peach. So Wolf, up and side we are actually really strong. So if he gets countered, he's probably gonna die no matter what. He's gonna start dying at like 30, 40%. So you need to be really careful with versus those characters. Like basically Wolf side B doesn't grab the ledge instantly, so you can you can keep getting punished, but like the best, the safe things to up B is still really Yeah, like, up B is the safe option, but at the same the time same if, they, like, if they read you're gonna up B, they hit you for free. Yep. So that's the mix up. You need to be careful though, because like 
if you get hit by the obby or side B, you're gonna die. Like side B kills you like zero percent because like if he kills you with a sweet spot. But like if you get a, a good counter, a, a character with a counter, woof, he's not gonna be able to recover. There's a trick that if you want to land in that stage with side B, it has no luck. You first need to do the directional air dodge, then side side B to the platform. You're yeah, I'll smash you. So you you're can gonna show have it. you're gonna have like no luck. It's still not worth it because like, you're still gonna get punished. See, it had no luck. But like, if they react, you're just you're still gonna get punished. So it's not yeah. really big. Also, if you see a wolf doing that air dodge, that means there's a high chance they're looking for for the side B. Yeah, well, like you if don't they to, you if don't they air dodge, there's they, a high chance they have the disadvantage because like they already air dodge, so they can't do anything. Yeah, they, if actually, they don't have. A, if you actually see them air dodge, yeah. with most characters. You can actually just go out there and hit them. Yeah, like but they don't, people just don't. They don't do that have yet. a air touch anymore, yeah. so they they are just gonna get. They have to pick anything. like a recovery move next, so mm -hmm. you can actually just go and hit them. And like if you are a counter character, you just like okay, he air dodge is ready. He's gonna try to side B, just put counter, yeah. and he's gonna die. And like I already told you, like super strong, she's gonna she's gonna start dying at like 20, 40 percent. Unlike strange for Wolf, like he, like I told you, he got a very, a very easy combo game. He can literally do anything. Even if he misses, he can just react to anything else. But like, that's actually a bad thing. That's a weakness too. Cause like, he's always gonna look for the same options. He's gonna, gonna do for the same neutral game, for the same approaches. So it's like, not that good. Also, one thing that I would like to be added to Wolf is like, you know that Fox and Fado can do like side B, then jump up B. Imagine if they give that to Wolf. He was he, he will probably be one of the best characters in the game, like, probably the best character in the game. But, like, please, Sakura, if you're watching this video, please buff Wolf. I think his combo is an A. Um, the thing with Wolf is uh, he has some certain combos that can kill you, but it requires a read, and it it's not like how, like, the Peach and Pichu combos can, like, actually just kill, kill you, you and there's nothing you can do about it. Wolf has some basic combos. I give him A because... His combo actual ability is like B, but the ease of execution makes it more like an A. There's a lot of stuff you can do with into the side B, the wolf flash move, and that can spike you or kill you off the side. This is good if you're on the same stock or if you need like, oh, I'm losing this match, and uh, I really need to make sure I trade the stock. If you have certain percents memorized and you get a 50-50 right, then you then you can get uh, that type of stuff. Yep. Same as Jason, I think it's an A. He's like super good combos, really easy combos, but like he's always gonna look for the same combo. So that's why I don't give him uh, an S. Yeah, you know what he's looking for, that's the problem. We already told you about the neutral game. Zero I think neutral. he's one of the best that's characters best with the best neutral game. That's yep. his best trait period. That's yeah. actually the reason he's so good, is because neutral. He just, he literally just needs to uh, force you to jump with the blazer. If you jump, you can just start getting everything. If you think they're, they like to attack out of shield, you just like jump, delay near, and then you assume that they do their out of shield move, and then you block that, and so on. He has also has a lot of anti-airs, but that would, that's not of a reaction, like, it's not like a, oh, I hit your shield, only do like up at the shield. It's more of a, I have to read that they're doing the move. Zachary's entire style is doing like anti-airs a lot. So edge guarding at Wolf is not a very good idea, like he can only just uh, fall near, like fall up near. Like it's not really a good idea, like if you miss and you get hit, you're gonna, you're gonna die. Wolf can go off stage with like a weak near, but it doesn't accomplish much unless their recovery is already bad. But assuming their recovery is good, which most relevant characters have a good recovery, the best thing to do usually at top level, or what's most common at the moment, is either a two-framing of F to the down smash. Now the thing with that is it's very safe for Wolf, as I mentioned with the Peach turnip, but the other thing is that because they can mix up their timing, that, that means your timing won't always be the same. For example, Lucina doing up B, she doesn't always have to do it at the same time or the same spacing. So it's really, it's not a reaction, it's like a guess. So you have yeah. to guess, you can unless it's you like can react to another Lucina wolf stuff. doing up B, which then it's like, oh, okay, he can't do anything, and I can see the startup of the move. In specific situations like that, yeah, you can get it more reliably. On most situations, you're kind of just doing it. You're usually going to miss, but when you get it, that's cool. His lead strapping, I would say, is average. It's not bad, it's not good. He can't cover multiple options like the way Rob can, but it's not bad. You can just yeah, near back. He can just, stuff. like, jump near and, like, try to cover everything. If you jump, you're going to get hit by the nair. If you stay there, you're going to get hit by the nair. If not, you're just going to get grabbed and put you in the same situation. But, like, it's, it's, just, it's just like that. I think it's a B. Yeah, depending on... Uh, see it going off stage. Uh, see it going uh, off stage. A, a, B, B, B or A on, at two framing. So yeah. average out of, like, B, B minus, I'd say. But like if there's an attribute for like two framing, I would say it's like an S. And this varies a like lot on the a character plus, too. Yeah. The next one is going to be kill power. In my opinion, Wolf is one of those guys that can actually kill you with anything. You just need to be optimized and know how, how to like do your moves. So I will give him an S. For me, um, I think it's A. 
the thing is, sometimes I'm killing people at like 40-50% and there's other times I'm killing people at like 200%. And if you're fighting someone impatient, as it's going to run into your uh, uh, pivot dash away forward smashes, or like you somehow two frame them with like down smash, like the down smash tipper is really strong, but there's no consistent way to get that. It's more of like, I hard read you so I can get it. It's not something you can like consistently do. Don't let him fool you. Uh, he can get he can get you with the two framing, but it's it's actually really hard because it's like, yeah, like mean, normal ledge stand. He's like broken no, when that hit, hit, hitting that's really hard, but he does that with like Mars Tipper F smash and stuff. So I haven't seen other people do that. So I think you can kill early with Wolf. It doesn't have like a hoo ha that like 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 Donkey Kong had. Oh, they're at 70, 70, 75 percent. I guess I have a guaranteed kill. No, sometimes they're gonna. You can kill them under 70, and sometimes they're living to 200. There's a lot of variance on the stocks, in my opinion. He's probably right of a wolf that is just me being really good. That's what he al he always told me. Was like I actually think he's an esque. Like every move kills. Even if you're like I don't know 1 150, you can just uh, react to their jump like up to off smashing anything, and like every move's gonna kill. You just need to like fish like kills at early percent movement. I think wolf has. I think he's well, like above average. I think he's like kind of slow, but like his laser is like is just it's too broken. <laughs> so I will give him like a rush B. I think his movement's an A, because um, he has really good air drift in the left and right, so you can use that to mix up your landing. So well, that's obviously a different type of movement. Also, his his dash, so you can multiple dash over and over, and it's actually faster than your run. A few characters have that. Um, I like his air drift. Kind of reminds me of like how Melee, Puff, Melee, Falcon have good fast left right air drift. So if you count landing and having landing mix ups in 50 50s yeah, like, and whatnot, then he's it's really good. good on the air. I'm just saying you like grounded. Grounded is he isn't that good. But, like if you're if we're talking about air movement, like Beach he's got, he has one of the best. Like even if he's when he's right landing, he can just like do the Diddy, the Diddy Kong thing that's you're used to do. He can just mix up left and yeah, right. He can and just then mix it mix up, up with like the laser and like go to platform, go to the laser. And if you think and, like, you have a read that they're like trying to hard read one of them, you just do something else instead of that. Yeah, if we're counting like air movement and grounded movement at the same thing, I will give him an A. A plus maybe. I'd say he's the lower end of top tier. And the reason I think this has nothing to do with him being bad, but I think that some of our characters peak higher. But yeah, he's definitely one of the better characters. The fact that he's a common character, that also means most high level opponents will have that matchup like mostly mastered. Where there's like almost no chance that X player at top level won't know the matchup, which is an indirect nerf to him in a practical setting. So if you're actually counting what actually matters for tournaments, then that's that bumps him down a bit. So I'd say what middle, mid low, and end of top tier. But this also depends like where's your cutoff for top tier. So he's basically on, only broken when I'm playing him. No one like I don't know Jason plays him. What? Are you scared? Make sure you don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you hit the bell. Make sure to tell us who else you want to guide for and what do you think of Wolf. My name is Leo and I'm stupid. I'm gonna fire Jason. He doesn't win anymore. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fire Jason. I'm Rick Fox and I will see you later. <laughs> Bye.